In this video we're going to use PowerPoint to manipulate photos to add some elements to photos and we'll do that by bringing photos into PowerPoint, adding elements, and then saving those slides as uh, JPEGs again. The first thing I'm going to do is I've created a uh, um, uh, white PowerPoint and I'm going to start off with a blank slide. I'm going to go to my photo management software. I took some pictures out on the playground at my daughter's school. I'm going to copy uh, my innermost picture, which we'll use for um, the uh, one centimeter and ten centimeter images, and I'm going to insert that. Uh, oops, I'm just going to paste. And there we go, I think. There we go. So that's for my one centimeter and my ten centimeter. I'm going to insert a new slide. And this one I'll show a different way of adding that uh, picture in for my photo browser, which again is iPhoto. Here's my uh, one meter across image, which I'll also put a 10 centimeter box on. And I'm going to add a, another new slide. And this one's got my 10 meter across, which I'll also put a one meter box on. And that is my three images that I'll be using for the start of the Powers of 10. So I'm going to my innermost slide, and I'm going to zoom in on it. There's a little zoom slider down here, and I'm going to make it so that I can put a square on there and insert that from my shapes choices here. And take a rectangle, and I'm going to draw it so that it goes through the zero and through the ten line and is square, and I want no fill on it. I want my line a little thicker, so I'll go to Line Effects and bump that up to 2. I could do that with the uh, Bump Up button as well. And there we go. Um, now I want to put in a 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter box, so I'm just going to copy my box and paste it in and then shrink it down. So there's the new box. Shrink it down, drag it up, shrink it down. Um, square it up, get it a centimeter across by putting it on top of a couple of numbers I can read. I can zoom in further to help with that. Um, and that's not bad, but is it square? It's close enough to square. I think that's pretty good. That's maybe a little bit big. Let's see if we can shrink it down just a tad more. That I think is pretty good. Going from the 3 to the 4. I could put it in the center of the slide if I wanted to, um, but I am not going to bother with that because I think it's nice actually for it to be on top of the tape measure. Now I'm going to um, copy the box, the larger box, to the next slide, paste it in. And I'm going to zoom out because here the box is going to take up most of the slide. The zero on the tape measure is over here. The one meter is over here. So I want a square that goes from over there to over here. And I'll zoom in in a moment to see how I'm doing on my ends. Um, that's not square, though. I'm going to zoom out to get it square. And then zoom in to see if I'm on my ends appropriately. perfectly square. Now let's zoom in. Come on, zoom. Cooperate. Slide over. Slide up. Over slide. And the zero is right there. One is right there. That's great. I'm going to do the same thing for my other remaining boxes, so the little one on this slide, and then both boxes on the next slide, and then I'm going to um, uh, save it as a picture. So I've added my boxes on both slides, both of the other slides here, and now I'm going to just save as pictures from the file menu. And there we go. Each slide has been saved, so we're all good to go.